Hey guys, it's Christine, and I just wanted to do a quick editing tutorial on how to clean up a wrinkled backdrop. So the first thing you do is open your image. You right click, duplicate layer, OK. You'll select your paintbrush tool. You're going to want to make it pretty big and pretty soft. And then you're going to probably want to make it about 100% opacity or you could do lower and layer it on if you want. Then you're going to hold the Alt key and click on whatever color you're going to change the whole background to. So I'm going to click it right about here and then you're just going to paint. And you're not going to worry about getting it places you don't want it because that's easy to to take off. So I'm just going to kind of just do a quick one. Now we got it on the baby, which we didn't want, so we're going to add a layer mask, which is a square with a circle at the bottom. You'll go back to your paintbrush, make sure it's set to black, make it smaller, harder, set to 100%, and then you'll just start to paint wherever you did not want to edit. And then I just kind of go back and forth, make sure that there's nothing, you know, like right, I see some hairs that I kind of didn't get all the way, so. And the thing is, if you go too far, you can switch it to white and return it back. So you can kind of just keep switching back and forth. Another thing you could do is you can reduce the opacity and make it more of a transition. So, you know, maybe I'll bring back just a little bit more of the wrap. So it still has some painting on it, but I took off 36%. And yeah, you can just kind of keep playing with it until it works.